Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to be giving a walkthrough of how to use the Alien Stepmother plugin from Witchpig. So when you open up the screen to start with, you'll just see this. Um, if you want to see the controls, what you have to do is click on the mummy alien, and then you'll see the various eyeball controls come up for the different options. And you have got a whole load of presets as well. If you click through those, you'll see different settings. It's different settings on the controls, and you'll also see the baby aliens moving about. So the baby aliens um, you can use to set the pattern of the signal going through in steps. So what I'll do to start with is I'll just put it back to default. And I'm going to set this control here deals the actual effects presets or the mode. So the most simple one is silence. So on silence, these ones will all be disabled. And you just have the mode selector here and the supersonic. Supersonic um, has different speeds that you move across the step sequence. So I'll just click on this to set up some different steps. So move that one down. So we've got a different step sequence here. You can set up different patterns. Click on the mummy alien again, and then you can see the little yellow eyes lighting up as it moves through the sequence. If I switch it here, subsonic, you'll see it's going slower. And then if I put it onto hypersonic, it moves through faster. So this will all be done in relation to the BPM. So if you see, I've just got the BPM it's picking up is 120. But obviously, if you had it on 240, it would be going through the steps twice as fast. Right, so the, the next mode I'm going to show you is distortion. So on distortion, you'll see that impact becomes enabled. Impact in the distortion mode basically means how much distortion you apply to the signal. So on 100, it's full on fuzziness. Um, but you can turn that down to halfway just to sort of have less effect. Um, other similar to distort mode, but different, is destroy. So destroy is basically a bit crusher. So you'll notice on here, the byte eyeball becomes enabled. So on the modulation modes, you can also use bit crushing and set it, but it will start by default as 32. So that will be maximum quality. And then you can reduce that all the way down to four where it starts basically completely cracking up. So eight is where you start to really notice it. So this will start on eight for the destroy mode and set it on there. OK, so modulation modes. First one is glimmer. So glimmer is basically like a chorus. So you'll notice that's on 32 by default, but you can change that to um, bit crush it as well. Um, at in a standard um, chorus control, you've got depth, rate, um, feedback. You've also got phase, which isn't this isn't for phaser. This is for changing the phase. So this will noticeably sat change the sound as you move it around. So this might be particularly useful if you're trying to get it to fit in with other instruments. So also the other modulation setting is quake. You have the same range of controls again. So the, the main difference between this and the other one is the um, default range of delay settings. So it's a similar difference that you would get between, say, a chorus and a flanger. And they're basically say, the same kind of modulation effects, but with different range of de initial delay settings, which will make it sound different. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a quick example. Oh, put it back here. One other thing I should say before I start is you have also got you've got a bypass here that will just turn it on and off and you've got um, some help so if you can't remember anything I've just said just click on the question mark it'll give you a rough guide here so you can read that here you'll notice which pig.co.uk site here you can either click on here or there to close it and if you click on which pig here then what it will do is it will open up which pig website so from here you can also download a whole load of other um, free 
uh, plugins and uh, instruments, contact instruments. And also, um, I've also got presets as well. So I've got presets for like sound toys, rack and Axe FX presets and so on. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to give you a quick example just to play out with. So if you want to try it out, um, you'll see follow the links in the description and you can download it for free. Um, hopefully you find some use for it and it's a bit of fun. So, OK, I'll play you out with an example. Oh, I have also got another video, which is um, an actual demo. So I've got a whole set of sounds with different instruments, some with guitar, some with keyboards going through various presets. So I'll put a link to that at the end as well if you want to see some proper examples. But for the, this video, I'm just going to play out for this one track I just did for the end of this.